The difference between you and me is that while you might be able to take life, I can bring it back. This is the story of how I was forced to turn my mod into one of the deadliest weapons on this server and why I did it to stop the most problematic player on it, starting with one innocent idea. Hey. Better luck next time. Hey, catch. <laughs> that was nice. If you could summarize content SMP in one sentence, it would be this. We make our own mods for the server. To kill people. But what if that wasn't the case? What if for one day we could get the whole server together in an event that wasn't themed around murder, but capitalism instead? You see, I'm planning on founding my own nation which players can visit to trade and shop without risking being murdered. So to prove the peaceful nature of this place, I wanted to host an opening ceremony where nobody dies. Now, this might sound easy, but trust me, it won't be, especially with the problem I have. Meet Blake Winsweet, who was my closest ally for the longest time until he broke my trust by poisoning my friends who he thought to be his enemies. Thankfully, with the help of a player named Rat, we stopped him before he could hurt anyone else, but in doing so, I put a big target on my back. And if he were to come back, this event would be the perfect time for him to strike. Emphasis on if. If I were to think about his arrival too much, I'd end up making a mod meant to take someone down, and I would ruin my goal of hosting a peaceful event. Okay, so what's this mod gonna be about? Think about the most harmless action a player can do in this game building. How could we enhance that? How about fixing the nighttime annoyances of it? The most annoying thing that happens to me while building is when phantoms swoop in to knock me off, or when skeletons shoot me to knock me off, or when creepers- Not only that, but generally when trying to build dim areas, they very quickly become accidental mob farms. This is where I decided to add two new types of candles. The first one allows you to mob-proof areas without emitting light, and the second one allows you to peacefully coexist with these mobs by making them neutral. Now, as for how you obtain these new types of candles, we couldn't use honeycomb because they're already used to make normal candles. So I had to make them out of a new material. In real life, candles can also be made out of lard, which is a type of animal fat. So we added it in. We could make pigs drop lard, but that's boring. How about we make their nether counterparts drop them when using a new weapon? Don't worry, we'll talk about that later. Normal lard makes warding candles, and rotten lard makes cursed candles. Another mob that you can butcher for a new item are cave spiders, which drop cursed yarn that are used for cushions. Cushions are pretty straightforward. You right-click, you sit. But mobs can also sit in them as well, as long as they're pacified using the cursed candles. Aside from that, I also added a few more miscellaneous building blocks that fit within the dark academia theme, such as coffers, placeable books, lumen, which is a new type of plant found in the dark oak forests, lard, and rotten lard blocks, as well as their respective fires. I think it's time to address the elf in the room. No, not you. Kind of this cool knife I stole from a Vindicator. It can be at most undead mobs. If you ever wish they could hang, the Hoglin has a trophy in your fancy little Minecraft mansion, just like a rat did here. Now you can. But not just Hoglins, we got Zoglins, zombie Piglins, we got Villagers, Husk, Drowned, Stray, and more. First off, it's not a knife. It's called a Cursed Cleaver. And second off, how'd you get in here? Same way you did. I left his back door open. Oh. Also, didn't you say you weren't going to add any ways to kill people in this mod? This was like a lot like one. Look, the Cursed Cleaver is not a weapon. It's a versatile tool meant only for the finest of craftsmen. You can cut trees or strip logs, but if you're more of a cook, you can use it to chop your meats. Okay, cool. Well, this obscurity effect that only applies to players that hides their health bar and effects, is that something a tool would do? Oh right, Nox also forgot to mention that the Cursed Cleaver can behead players, which is a pretty neat feature in my opinion. Anyways, with the mod finally finished, I think it's time to prepare for the event. Okay, first things first, my nation needs a physical location, and I think I've got just the right place for that. Welcome to my base! At least the beginnings of it. This is the main tower, but it has absolutely nothing inside of it. And this is the main street, but let's be honest, it looks more like ancient ruins than the center of a town. If I want to host my event here, I'm really gonna need a better looking area than this. So it's time to start building. Oh no! I ran out of building material! <laughs> Thankfully, this building montage was sponsored by our local Silicon Valley philanthropist, 8 Sided Square, who also helped me make this mod, alongside Amy Mealy. Check him out in the description. 
and we're done. Well, except for the bank's fault, but before we can get to building it, I need to go on a little side quest. Remember Blake? He's been hiding for a while now, and rumor has it that he's been planning to make a grand return, but his only remaining allies, Zombie and Void, had enough of him, so they invited anyone that could come to ambush Blake before he could get his plan in order. Bon, you do not look combat ready. They told us to bring weapons. <laughs> okay, good. You're all here. I know where Windsweep is. Where? He's at the airship. He's asked me to go to him for his next plans, but I'm done. This is it. This is where we take him down, and I need your help. Vaughn, Amy, Sylvia. I'm in. Let's take down this son of a bitch. He's at the airship. Follow me. Oh, there it is. Here's the door. Okay, don't go in yet. Ten seconds later, you son. Give me and void ten seconds. How long is ten seconds? I didn't no! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Hi there, Blake. You betrayed me. After you all betrayed of me. This, and you too, Lux? Do you not remember what you did at the masquerade? Blake, let's be honest. You brought this upon yourself. So what, this is your grand plan? You're going to come here and take me out once and for all? Hey, hey, Blake. It's it's strictly business. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to kill every single oh. one of you. He had a god apple. So after him. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> oh, he's running away. Get him, get him. You've got nothing this time, Blake. No Ready? beacons, no Amorite. This is more than the Master Why are these waiting? Come over here. I'm gonna take you down myself. He's enjoying it. You know what? I enjoy this too. Get over here. I've wanted to do this for so long. Group up on him. Don't let him what get away. What did I even do to you, Bon? What did I even do? You killed all of my friends. Oh, I God. cheated in a game of musical chairs and you thought that the best part of action was to kill me. No, Bon! <laughs> no, you cheated me out of a lot of money. I'm going to cheat out of your fucking life. <laughs> we need to group up on him. <laughs> no, Sylvia! God damn it. Oh my god damn it. Oh, he's getting away. Chase him, chase him, chase him. I don't see him. God damn it, he got away. While I was looking for Blake, I kept thinking about how I felt while I was hunting him. I was enjoying it, and that scared me. While my team regrouped at a nearby place, I decided to stick around in hopes of finding Blake. Not to kill him, but to talk. I see you. Lux, you saw what I just did. I do not want to do that again. Why do you want to cause more harm to the server? I mean, I haven't touched anybody. My, I wasn't planning to kill more people. I was just planning to... I was just... I was just planning. Be honest with me. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I have been lost for the last couple weeks, okay? After losing to the Masquerade, I took my first L in a long time. I've been scared. But after that, I feel like my luck is finally changing. Follow me. Look what I just... I just... Look what I just found. Hold on, let me kill this child. Look, did you ever see this place? What is this? I don't know. I just kind of mined up. After, after falling down the bones bar, I was like, okay, damn. How about this? You know, how about that? We go on a classic Lux and a wind sweep adventure, okay? I've just got this quartz from this secret room, and I'm gonna go to it. You can come with me or not. Here's the book. What higher powers await the bold? Let thy ambition run wild. That totally doesn't sound suspicious at all, but you know what? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Besides, if he tries to pull any tricks on me, I can just leak his coordinates to the rest of the server. But I'll be honest, I did not expect what would happen next. Okay, these are the exact cores. Hold on, I'll, I'll like do a drop test so they like drop stones. Yeah, you'll go down first. What? No, <laughs> I don't think you have the right. Okay, I'm going down. Lux, it's safe, I think. <laughs> I think maybe we should go down the ladder, right? Yeah, probably. Where are we? Lux, I'm not very concerned. What the hell? Stay close. I, this could literally be everything. <laughs> what is that? I'm so scared. What? I don't know what you 
Wow. Wait, no, no. There you are. You I'll skip the details. This is Mouthpiece, a player that's been haunting me and the rest of the server for the past few months. And they just offered Blake a deal that would allow him to permanently kill three players. I mean, I see this as a win for me. After Blake had made his choice clear, I decided to regroup with the rest of the and team in order to prepare for a fight. And he arrived soon after. I have an item here that permanently kills you fully. You are gone. There is no respawning. There is no coming back. You die. You don't deserve this. None of you do. Do you? After what I did, after helping that monster. Okay, you might have helped him poison a bunch of people, but like, look, man, look, I nobody deserves to die permanently. Trust me, looks. Listen, if worse comes to worse and we die permanently, then you are the last line of defense. But we got this, right, boys? I would leave a fire you right now. Really? Good luck to you too. Nobody wanted to risk being permanently killed, so one by one we backed off from the fight, leaving only Zombie and Void against him. Oh, Void they are... Die. No, Void's this is... Die. No! What? Oh what? my god! No! Within a matter of minutes, they were both completely wiped off the server. They fought Blake by themselves while I ran away like a coward. I'm gonna give you a chance to run and go tell every single person you know about what just happened here. I want you to tell Rat. I want you to tell everybody that this, this is what I'm capable of now. There's no more denying it. Peace is no longer an option. And as much as I didn't want to do this, I had to come up with a plan to kill Blake Winsweet. This wouldn't be an easy task though, as Blake is incredibly good at PVP. So trying to fight him fairly would only result in my death. What about a trap then? A trap? Nox, our mod is a glorified furniture mod. What are we gonna trap him with? Cushions? Lemons? Mob head? Nox, you're a genius. I, I didn't say anything. Sure, mob heads are harmless on their own, but what about the mobs themselves? What if we could trap Blake in a room full of mob heads and then revive all of them at once, leaving him at the mercy of a thousand mobs? Okay, but what are a bunch of zombies or hogs gonna do to Blake? We're gonna start mobbing that. How about- Shh. Warden heads. We're gonna lure Blake in a room full of warden heads, and I know just the right place to do it at. I haven't finished my vault yet, so he could totally repurpose it to work as a trap. One small issue though, wardens don't obey orders. If I were to spawn several of them under my base, there's a pretty high chance that at least a few of them would focus not on Blake, but on me or other players. And uh, given I'm not a genocidal maniac, I came up with a feature to deal with this concern. Foulness is a potion effect that makes any neutral or hostile mob target the entity affected by it, which means that if I were to splash Blake with it, the wardens would only focus on him. Hopefully. Great. So how are we gonna get a bajillion warden heads? Last time I checked, you are not a warden, honey. Don't tell me you're gonna get rats help. I'm gonna get rats help. How do I ring this? Hi, rat. Your That's doorbells so aren't working statues. properly. <laughs> I, I have a question. Do you have a brewing stand around here? I have quite a few. All right, yeah. So what's up? What's your, what's your drink? How about uh, pig fat? I'm scared. What did you add? So I'm guessing nether wart first. Anyway, how you been since the Inca? I've been doing pretty well. I've been working on my city. Oh, you have a city? Yo. I'm actually opening up today and uh, I, I wanted to invite you. If there's nobody hunting me at spawn, yeah, I'd be down. You got those cocktails ready? Yeah, it's in my inventory. Foulness. You sure you want to drink this? <laughs> You really sure you want I, to drink this? Like, I'm not gonna be the one drinking it. I'm sure it tastes wonderful. Well, I mean, I gotta have one, at least. We're gonna... We're... No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Don't, no, no, no. Stop. Oh, I completely forgot. I want to give you a, a gift. All right. Uh -huh. Since, okay. ever since the masquerade, I feel we've been on better terms. Yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> for killing your dad. Pointing <laughs> fingers left, pointing fingers right. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I originally didn't think I would kill him permanently, though. Here you go. Yeah, anyway, so, um, what's the thing you gotta take care of before the market opening? Well, um, I need to get a few heads. Follow me. Okay. I'm not that good at giving head, though. Like, oh, get in, nerd. I right. got some mobs to behead. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Remember the expedition, Rat? We're gonna go warden hunting today. You got the cocktail? I got the cocktails. What about it? We're gonna summon multiple wardens and we're gonna splash the cocktail on only one of them. Okay. There's literally no wardens. I'm walking over the shriekers. Tell them to bring out the whole warden. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, I summoned another warden. 
Okay, now I really done goofed. I, I hear even more wardens. Okay, I, I just hear just <sighs> tremendous sniffing. It's right here. Yeah, I know there's... Oh! It's okay. Do not breathe. <gasps> Hold your breath. I think it's getting angry. I think you should be careful. Here. Um. Here. Why did you punch me? Enchanting Why did you punch table. me? Um, um. Why? Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, so do I just splash him? Yeah, yeah, splash him with it. Be careful, don't mean the... Uh-oh, I missed. Did, did I... you... Did you miss? I got him, I got him. Uh, I got you, you as well. You splashed it on me! Ow! <laughs> Ouch! Yeah, it's... Uh, oh! not that... You might want to review your recipe. I... Okay, maybe... Oh! <laughs> Wait, they're going at each other, I think. Are they? No, that's you. They're not! Yeah, I'm gonna get absolutely destroyed right now. Oh. Wait. I can distract it. Did that work? It I should've. I forgot that's a thing. Okay. So there's a bunch of them, right? We've established that. Yeah. They need to be in the same spot, though. We need that's like a... the oh, issue. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? There's two of them here. If this one gets a little closer, I can splash both of them. Do it. Oh. Oh, oh it <gasps> works! Yes! Yes! Yo! Yeah, okay! Okay, we can do it now! Yo. Okay, that that warden should be very low now. Okay, just keep going. Don't get in rages, don't get in rages. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna hit me. Okay, there we go. I'm healing. Come on! How much HP do you have? You just fought another warden. I can I can take it down. We don't have much time anymore though. I'm gonna try to get this one down. Die already! How much HP do you have? Ah! Oh, it's for me, it's for me, it's for me. Just keep going. Just keep okay. Going. You got it? <gasps> yes! Okay, I did it. Let's go! Oh my god. Nice. Oh, it looks yes. so cool. All right. It looks so cool. <laughs> 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 no, 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 please, 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 don't it. Okay, my rest, my rest are gonna attack you, no! If there's only one ward ahead, you can, like, make a lot more money this way. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> you can just, like, do a bidding. That would be really cool. That would be actually really I actually cool. do want to hold an auction. You heard it, folks. The final counter for the amount of warden heads we got in an entire hour was... One, if I want this trap ready in time for the event, I had to think of a way to quickly get more warden heads. Thankfully, our friend 8 has got our back again because guess what? Since the start of the server, he's been collecting a stack of every single item, both vanilla and modded, including an entire stack of warden heads. So I called him up and offered to make a deal. Hi, hi. Hello, hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Where are you? Oh my god, there you are. And he's my favorite Hello. philanthropist. How's it been, they buddy? They call me Jeff Amazon. The I'm so rich. Anyways, I got the goods, and oh. you can be the head of the game. Aha. <laughs> Sorry. How many do you have? I got 16. We discussed four emerald ore each, so that'll be about a stack. Oh, that is my entire wallet. You know what? Sure. Okay, you can have it. And the wallet, too. It's premium leather. Wow, genuine rabbit hide. All right. Have fun. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. I won't forget this. I will. How do you have so many? How the fuck did you get so many? And with the trap done, Rat logged in just in time for me to show him around for a bit. Oh, there's okay. just a spider here sitting. That's kind of cool. What is this, Undertale? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is, all right. Oh, wait, this is just a shopping area. Yeah, yeah, this is... That's I've, so I've cool. literally opened up... <laughs> You've not realized until now. Yo, candle shop. Can oh, I? candle shop? Nah, this is the foul tower. This has basically every single befoul feature. Yo, that is um, really cool. One emerald orb, 16 books. <laughs> I love it. You know, it's nice yeah. and all killing each other uh, every once in a while, but this is so sweet. Nice room. Yeah, this is my room. I praise the stone cutter. It is the most amazing <laughs> block in the entire game. Nice. <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> you have a really nice Yeah, it's a here. really nice. God damn, the uh -huh. chorus tree. Uh, it's changed a little bit since I destroyed it last time. Uh, sorry about that too. This is just a giant water tank in here. Oh yeah, Jimmy. He's got a villa. That's crazy. He doesn't have a partner though. He's pretty alone, so. I mean, I could I could give you a fish for it, yeah. <gasps> that would be great. Here. That would be I'm great. I'm stuck in here. I'm <laughs> You're stuck? stuck in here. I have a few fish. Does Jamie care about looks? Um... Nah, Jemmy's a real one. I'll get them an angler fish partner with a huge <laughs> light bulb. Like, Rat, uh, I'll be honest. While I might have initially planned for a completely peaceful opening, I have a fear that Blake will come along, and I don't want him to ruin that. So I want you to be on the lookout for him. If you spot him, tell me, and I've got something prepared for him. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. let's go welcome the people. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, Hello. I was looking yep, follow me. Follow Hello me to the portal. There. Welcome to market. Wait. Welcome. <laughs> everybody, take your seats. Oh take your seats. Welcome yeah. to the market, everybody. I organized this today because <laughs> I've wanted to do something good for the server. And I've kind of been tired of people you know, organizing these grand events only to end up killing half the people. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm not calling any names. <laughs> You're right, sorry. Right. You're right, right. You got a little, uh, you got a little bird in your throat. Oh, it's okay. The bird's free now. Some people have learned their lessons, all right. Tell me when the genocidal maniac says, "I'm sorry for killing your dad." Uh, I hope everybody brought uh, emeralds because we will be doing a lot of shopping today. Flick the lever, right? <laughs> all right. Well, follow me. <laughs> if Disney World was all about capitalism, wait, it actually is. Uh, well, welcome to Disney World then. This is Amy's Grindery. Oh. <laughs> Amy? Oh, <my> it's <laughs> pretty small in here. We have, you know, sands oh, and gravel and grinders and concrete, you know? If y'all ever need building materials, you can come to Amy's yeah. shop and, you know, she'll even grind it down for you. I'm pretty sure there's grinding services down below. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I was going to say something, but then I realized I'm recording. Rat. <laughs> Rat, I swear to God. Amy, do you oh, offer bottom surgery? <laughs> I'll grind those parts. I'll grind them. Imagine I just get on top of that, I become folly. This is my bakery. Um, as you can come in, we we accept guests of all species. This is really Cake. cool. This is really nice. Anyways, the third Hi. shop here is a restaurant, Hi. which is almost full capacity. But no worries, if you shift right click uh, on a seat, you can make the mobs, you know, dismount it. Welcome to yes. Foul Whoa. Tower! Uh, excuse me, what are these poppers? They are yes. basically like chests, but they are blast oh. resistant. That yeah. is so cool! Let's I'm go buying your entire level. book stock. Oh. Alright, let's go upstairs. <laughs> next up, we got the trophy room. Yo, drowned heads! Oh my god, I'm getting the only drowned head. I love drown. <laughs> All these mob heads, you know, they might be very interesting, but it's not necessarily super impressive that you've killed off a hoglin or a zoglin. So, uh, rat, show them. Uh, what? What, what is it? <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> oh <Nice>. that's horrifying. <laughs> 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 that is incredible. Oh, you smell nice. Aww. Yeah, we died so many times to bring it, so the starting price is probably going to be a yeah. little high. Yeah, the first items for sale are cleavers. It has a new effect that it applies. You cannot see Ow. how many hearts you have. It deprives you of information. So it's a pretty good tool for combat. The starting bid is just two emerald ores. Oh, I bid a pig nope. step. That's not yeah, emerald ore, but emerald close enough. Three, three, emerald emerald ore. Ore. three emerald ore to Please. eight. I'll offer you four emerald ore and my own cleaver, too. Your own If you want me, I can sign the cleaver. What if I give uh, an enchanted bottle of moss. What? What? <laughs> huh? Can anybody go higher than this? An enchanted bottle of moss? All right, first cursed cleaver sold to Nox. <laughs> Rat, you're a better salesman than me. Can you hold the rest of the auction? Now we've got two warden heads. Now a beautiful and amazing decoration item can go anywhere above your uh, chimney, above your double bed. Thirty-two to oh, Diane. Thirty. Do we have more? Oh, what the? <laughs> 67 going to Diane's 69, 79 going to Diane's 79 going once. I don't have 77. I have six more. If, will that bring you over Diane? I mean, Diane's will probably get more Diane's so you can try. 81 Diane's That's more money to us, <laughs> right? <laughs> 81 going twice. Right, I'm going 81. To 
going thrice to <laughs> Diensu, the first warden head. Oh you my God. are not wasting your money, good sir. Um, you made a purchase of a century. Um, Lux. Yeah. Did you notice right. this over here? Or huh? Is that is I mean, a known thing? Uh, oh, great. Blake's here. Now, this graffiti might not seem like much, but that's because I've been omitting a few details from you. You see, after me and Rat went to the deep dark, we also followed a compass that we received from Blake, leading us to a strange place. There, we found the graves of Zombie and Void, and a book meant for us. Do you know what it's like to have nothing? Because I don't think you do. I want you to read this book and know what's coming next for you. As I sit at these graves, I know my stories. One of failure one of betrayal, and one of revenge. My course was set as soon as I organized that party. I knew that if I was seen in a powerful light, I might have some respect. I was wrong. Anyway, getting back on topic, I made sure to bring you both here. Hopefully you stand side by side. I want you to look at what I'm capable of. I'm going to take everything from you. Check your backs, because one day you might not be able to. So, Lake thinks he's an immovable object, huh? I think it's time to give him the wake-up call he deserves. Well, we do have something oh, to show for the bank. Okay. I want to showcase one last thing. So if y'all follow me, uh, oh, you're oh, you're oh. all heading the wrong way because the real thing is here. Okay? Oh, oh, guys, I get it. This is where we all die now. Here we are. No, no, I wouldn't do that to y'all. <laughs> Yo! What? <laughs> you lied to me! Look, like, I had a special order. Yeah, wait, so why did we get warden heads for? These ones have another use, okay? okay? I reckon everybody should probably stay at the start here. Aside from one okay. player that has done something unforgivable a few days ago. Blake, I know you're here. I heard you. Show oh. yourself. I have milk buckets. Come on, Blake, you're not a little coward. Oh, hello. Oh. Hi there, Hi. bud. Oh my god, he's headless. Hi Hello. there. I guess Hello. I'm here. Come with me, what, Blake. What? Yeah. Do you want to tell all these people what you did a few days ago? You see that I've invited even Rat to market today, right? A few months ago, me and Rat, we would have been sworn enemies. But after the expedition, he exiled himself and he changed. I appreciate that. People can change. You know, I gave you a choice between redemption and crossing the line and you made your choice very clear lux let's be honest here you've seen what i'm capable of you've seen what i can do okay but here's the thing you're gonna humiliate me it's not gonna happen no it's not because you can't win <laughs> i can't, can't win, win huh i know i know that i'm not that good at pvp so i thought of something else right can you uh block off the entrance please what's going on oh um that's fun blake you've killed off void and zombie I can never forgive you for that. The difference between you and me is that while you might be able to take life, I can bring it back. So, you think you've achieved it? Peace in our times? I think Who so. Who the hell are you? But Get listen, out of I, I can explain. I, I was just trying to record you've something. You've gotta be kidding me.